Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. It's like two other people left, but um, everybody, you know, everybody had a good, interesting um, project. My project is about the three one one time process. I know a lot of people see people walk around City Hall, and everybody, it was, it's just uh, one of those things. Everybody said they must work for three one one. So one of the changes that we did uh, recently in three one one is got a uniform, so you can kind of identify people that's in three one one. We actually go through a temp service, Lane staffing for our tenants. And I'm not sure if Lane was in testing the uh, agents before they sent them to us, but we was getting a lot of turnover work. Uh, we can get a class of 13 people coming to the city on a Wednesday, go through orientation, and by the end of the month, we might have two or three people. So we see that was a big problem. Um, so with that being said, I'm gonna start my um, project. Uh, I actually started as a temp five years ago. Um, I, it was a new um, temp staff when I was actually a camel board. They did test me, but when we got the lane temps over here, I don't think they even tested me. They filled out application, hey, request the city money for orientation. And we never met these people face to face, so when they came in, we greeted them at the door, sent them to orientation. On my project, I worked with Brandon, Cheryl Jones, Margaret Wright, the son of Mara and all the 311 staff. They include the schedulers, the QAs, all the supervisors. The problem, we can keep permanent employees, we just can keep temporary employees. One of the things that I notice with the temps, they come to work late, they uh, don't show up. So when I was looking at this project, I was like, one thing that's killing our 311 system is we don't have people coming to work every day. When the phone lines open up at 8 o'clock in the morning, we need people on the phone. Permanent employees took heed to that. They know they had a permanent job, and it was a little harder for them to get terminated. But the temps, they didn't seem to cut too much. So with the process that we did that I'm going to speak on today, which saved us a little bit over 131000 uh, dollars per year. So just think, we're training a person for a week, we don't pay them almost a thousand dollars. And if you keep adding that up, you'll get a big number like this. <coughs> so basically, with us hiring um, the temps ourselves through city, uh, making city temps, we paid them $12.50. When we was paying the lane staff, we was paying each uh, eight and $15.30. So it's a big difference in price from that point as well. When we first started looking over the phases, it was like, how can we improve? What can we do better in 311? And, one of the, and when we started looking at everything, it was like, let's make take the civil service test so we can actually have eyes on them ourselves versus letting an agency go out there and we don't know if they test them. Because all they want is the quick money. Hey, let's get the people. We, we're going to send y'all 100 people. They don't care if the 100 people don't last for five days, but they sent us 100 people. So what we was looking at, okay, we do a civil service test. We need to make sure people can speak correctly. We need to make sure they got computer skills. We need to make sure that they, are e that they really even want to work. So with this process that we, uh, we was just brainstorming. We was like, hey, let's give them a call before they even come in here and take the test. Let's see if they can even answer the phone correctly. Let's shoot them an email and say, hey, reply back to this email, let us know that you're interested in working. So we did all this brainstorming on how can we get 10 qualified people. So through this phase, which was going through phases, even the supervisor sit down and we actually took the civil service test. So when we first put the civil service test out there, 30 people would take the test and only five people would pass. So it was like something was going on, something is wrong. So we actually went and took the test ourselves. And we did find that the test was a little bit harder. So we uh, took some things off the test to make more people pass so we could get a better selection going. Um, as you can see, one of the top things I spoke about earlier was attendance. That's one of our bigger, one of the biggest problems that we're doing, getting people here on time and getting people um, the civil service test. Now, once we redid the test, if 30 people take it, we'll at least get to interview 20 people after the test. 
Um, the panel interview, a lot of people not used to panel interviews. So when they come into the, the 301, you have like three supervisors in the meeting and an a extra person. So we were interviewing them. Uh, a lot of people don't like the fact that we're 24 hours. You know, you work on holidays. And the training, we figure that we need to do training more on a regular basis because the way our turnover rate is going, we need to at least have a, a training every one of, every two to three months. So 24 hours operation, attendance, and civil service. service. So that's what that's what got us to the forefront, changing the whole uh, improvement. So basically, from January 2015 to December 2015, we hired 48 people from the land staff. And at the end of the results, from December to, uh, 2015, we had nine of those people left. Um, and a lot of this, once they're land staff, we do give them the opportunity to become permanent. But you got to meet your metrics month to month, you know, on a yearly basis, pretty much. But with that being said, you can kind of see how our numbers are going. So I just broke it down in January. Um, the first, this is actually people that we didn't have a name, but one person lasts 14 months, one person lasts three months, one person lasts 10 months, one person lasts one month, one person lasts four days. So you can kind of see how the flow was actually. It was really hard to keep these people here. So we, I went all the way back to April 2014 because I, I became supervisor like two years after the fact and once I, uh, you know, became permanent. And I've seen a lot of people in and out the door. But I didn't see a lot of permanent employees in and out the door. And we, I think we only did it like one time. We just hired from out the street for per, uh, permanent employees. And when we did this, we got like 10 people we hired. And after that whole 10 people in the class, only two other people were still hurt. So then it was like, okay, we have these people direct out the streets, and we still didn't get a good turn, you know, turnout. So with that being said, the new process, which I'm going to go ahead and get to, um, we implemented January 2016. We started doing our own hours. We had all our main tips to apply to these city towns. We didn't so much make them go back through the process.